The RZ pulse generator generates a return to zero coded electric signal based on a bit sequence input. We will be connecting the RZ pulse generator to a bit sequence generator and we will be seeing the result with an oscilloscope. We will compare the output of the RZ generator with that of an NRZ pulse generator so that we can observe the difference between the two of them. Double clicking the bit sequence generator, we can see the bit sequence that the pulses will be based off of. Calculating the project and clicking on the oscilloscope, we can see the output. On the top, we can see the output of the RZ generator. The main difference between the two is that the RZ generator returns to zero after the pulse, whereas the NRZ generator does not return to zero unless the input bit is low. Now going into my second project window, my new setup consists of two RZ generators so that we can apply changes to one and compare it to the other. Double clicking on the pulse generator brings up its properties. The property rectangle shape dictates the shape of the pulse. Changing it to linear will make the rise and fall of the pulse be a linear line. Calculating the project and clicking the visualizer, we can see the difference between the two pulses. The pulse above has the linear rectangle shape, whereas the pulse below has the exponential rectangle shape. Changing the format for pulse range from min slash max to DC bias slash amplitude will let us define the pulse by specifying the DC bias and the amplitude of the pulse instead of choosing the maximum and minimum values. In this format, the maximum should be equal to the DC bias plus the amplitude, and the minimum should be equal to the DC bias minus the amplitude. Looking at the visualizer, we can see the modified pulse has a DC bias of 1 and an amplitude of 2. Changing the duty cycle of the pulse will change the ratio of the time that the pulse is high compared to the time that it is low. A duty cycle of 0.8 means that if the input bit is 1, the pulse will be high for 80% of the bit length and low for 20% of the bit length. Looking at the visualizer after calculating the project, we can see that the time the pulse is high for has increased as expected. Changing the position value to 0.25 is equivalent to applying a phase shift of 0.25 of a bit to the right. Looking at the visualizer, we can see that the expected phase shift has been applied. Changing the rise time and fall time, we will change the time it takes for the pulse to travel from minimum to maximum and from maximum to minimum. With a larger rise and fall time, we can see the results in the visualizer are as expected. In the simulation window, the sample rate can be changed. Clicking beside sample rate opens up the parameter script editor. The sample rate for this block is currently set to the global parameter sample rate. The value of sample rate can be seen by pressing the evaluate button. The sample rate of this block can be changed to be dependent on other layout parameters or it can be based on a function. Double clicking anywhere on the workspace brings up the global parameters window where the sample rate and other global parameters can be edited. Now when we go into the block and press evaluate script, the new sample rate can be seen.